World Mental Health Day takes center stage, and the statistics, according to WHO, are mind-boggling. 20% of Nigerians suffer from this condition, yet less than 10% receive care. Factors such as economic distress, social instability and trauma are common triggers, all of which have become commonplace in Nigeria today, just as the people contend with the rising cost of living. <laughs> To draw attention to this menace, one man decides to take on the Kilimanjaro challenge to symbolize that every mountain can be conquered. While facing the challenge of climbing a mountain, which for me had personal ramifications, I also realized that one of the biggest challenges that the young people in Nigeria have are mountains that are very difficult for them to overcome. Tonya Cole. A one-time governorship aspirant in River State says he is alarmed by the number of young people suffering from behavioral and mental health condition. He wants more attention paid this crisis. We want to let them know that it is okay to seek help. It is okay to talk to somebody. That mental health is not a stigma that affects the poor, affects the wicked, affects the evil. No. According to health experts, when the condition is not treated, the effect could be damaging and could impact sufferers socially, economically, educationally, occupationally, and otherwise. Something as um, very sensitive as um, erectile dysfunction and impotence. And you, people think it's something that old men go through. We're now seeing it in young people. The theme for this year's celebration is meant to draw attention to prioritizing mental health in the workplace as it takes its toll on productivity. For every one year, we are losing 12 billion work days. And ILO said that we are losing over $1 trillion because of productivity is low, absenteeism, presenteeism. These people will never ask for absenteeism. They will not be absent, rather. They'll be present, but they're not doing anything. So when symptoms such as prolonged sadness, withdrawal, sudden change in behavior manifest, care must be taken not to misjudge the situation. One psychiatrist to one million Nigerians is dire in the face of the surge in mental health cases. This also calls for attention. Little Wonder creating a platform to bridge the gap in mental health care, such as the Behavioral Health Institute, an initiative set to offer free therapy sessions to 1,000 youth, is crucial and a welcome development. Priscilla Lems, Channels Television News.